Welcome back. I was thinking about uh, the Arduino project I've got going here and also setting up block detection. I can't stress it enough that uh, uh, if you're just getting into that, going to design your layout, put the block detection in there now. Uh, wire it, you can come back and you can uh, put the instrumentation for it later, but at least if you get the wiring done, you're going to take a lot of headaches out. I've got to go back and take a look now at how I can isolate some sections of track to set up the blocks and do the rewiring. So let's take a look at that on paper first. I've uh, drawn up a quick sketch here of uh, the one in the layout that I, I want to uh, put the signaling in at least to start with. And I have actually two sets of tracks that go in this area. Um, but I want to look at where I want to put the signaling. I do have a bridge here. Uh, to uh, start this area and with the train going this direction uh, the signal would be on the right hand side um, another signaling up in this area and then some more signaling over in this area so where do we want to place the uh, the signals uh, and let me uh, let me just take a quick look at that and I will do a little drawing okay I've selected the areas that I want to uh, uh, put an insulation block in this area and I'm going to have to do that with a, a Dremel tool and uh, take a small piece of uh, a styrene and fill that area then once I get that I watched this on Ron's trains and things so um, we're going to try to use his method for uh, for filling those gaps so if you notice here the uh, signal is placed before the train actually gets here It'll start to turn red, and we'll go that way. So let's uh, it's good to go do the uh, the next step. Okay, I've gone ahead now and colored in my different blocks: uh, green block, red, purple. Kind of supposed to be an orange over here, and I've added the other uh, searchlights uh, signaling to go in on the other side, train going the other direction. So uh, I did this. Uh, to show that uh, the train is coming up this way this uh, searchlight uh, signal needs to actually look at this block down here so all the the drop feeders that are in there two or three of them uh, will be tied together and go through your block detector uh, this one here actually looks at this block up here these feeders this signal will do the same thing it's looking at this line going this direction so it's going to use these drop down feeders and the same thing for over here uh, this one will be looking at this block down in this area and this one goes back and looks at this one so um, now I've got some uh, rewiring to do I want to take up one more thing I wanted to take a uh, little bit and look at putting some crossing signals in uh, for my road now if you just have the uh, the one track going across there uh, remember that you need to isolate this far enough down to uh, give the tra train you know signaling to start and the train to get there but also to get your cars across the uh, the uh, end of the track there uh, if you use uh, resistors in your wheels uh, then you can you know uh, it doesn't have to be too long uh, but for me I've also got two tracks that go across where I want to put some signaling in. So I'm going to have to make sure that I isolate both tracks and use all the drop feeders uh, for that one side that I want to take and tie those all together. So if a train's either on either track, it will turn the signaling on. So just another one to, uh, to think of when you're, uh, when you're laying that, that out. So let's... Uh, Go see how we're going to isolate some track, and I'll work on the underside of the layout at the same time. I took an old piece of uh, flex track I had, and I wanted to see how large of a gap it's going to make. Uh, I'm going to use my Dremel tool here. So I'm going to do a practice cut here and uh, see how well this works.
Okay, I've cut through. Okay, let me uh, see if I can measure the size of that. I know that my cutting disc was about 38 thousandths. Uh, this piece here looks to be right around 50 thousandths. So it's that slight angle that I have to go into. So now uh, I'll find a, I'll look for a, a piece of styro, uh, styrene and see if we can fit it in there and glue that in place. Okay, I've uh, cleaned this hole up just a little bit. I'll try to take a little sandpaper, just get the burrs off of it. And I'm going to uh, apply some CA, CA gel in here and uh, goop it up pretty good. I found that uh, 60 thousandths square was about the best thing uh, for this and uh, I have some 60 thousandths square here uh, cut off oh, about uh, uh, half inch of it and I'm going to place that uh, yeah. place that down inside there. Okay, we're going to let that set up, and then uh, we'll come back see how well it holds. I'm going to try to trim that off. And okay, the styrene is set up in there. I'm going to different pieces of sanding on this. Uh, let me go ahead and work on it and uh, I'll, uh, I'll come right back to it. So, Okay, I've cleaned that up with uh, a little bit of sandpaper. It didn't take very much at all. Uh, kind of sand a little bit on the sides. And then I took a car, and I tell you, I cannot even feel. Now, something I did notice was, is when I did cut, I happened to move over. I've got to be very careful. Uh, over here on the other track, I've got a slight nick in there. And that was from the Dremel tool, so I've got to be careful on that one. But this side here um, came out very nice. So now I think I'm going to put a little... Uh, a railroad brown on it and uh, see if I can make that white spot disappear. Okay, I've got the uh, rail paint uh, on that isolator and you can't hardly uh, find it at all, so uh, that came out well. I'm going to go ahead and wire this up uh, and install the DB20 on here and just test it so I can see how that DB20 uh, works. I mainly want it to, uh, to be able to control the Arduino. So. If you want to just use a red and a green LED, I think it's going to be fairly easy. Uh, if you want to use red, yellow, and green, uh, you have to uh, use an Arduino. And uh, I do have the uh, source code finally written for it, the sketch. I uh, need a little help from uh, the Arduino community, but they, uh, they helped me out with a couple tips and uh, we've got it up and running. So I'll show you here. Uh, uh, I had to use two green LEDs uh, and a red one, so the center LED is really uh, going to be a yellow uh, on the signaling system. So I'm planning on using the searchlight single LED to change uh, the color from red uh, to yellow to green and hold the green until uh, the train enters it. So uh, here I have the uh, a little breadboard. Uh, as the train uh, uh, enters, it goes from green uh, to red, and it will hold that as long as the uh, uh, train is in, the, uh, uh, is in that block. Once it leaves that block, uh, it will go yellow for about five seconds. I've got it so you can change that fairly easy in the sketch. And then after five seconds, it goes back to a steady green. So we've got that worked out. Um, signals. Uh, looked around the internet, uh, 
I found a fellow, I think his last name is uh, uh, Mullen, Mellon, and uh, I'll put his uh, email address uh, down below. You can email him and he'll send you the information about his signals. Uh, metal etched, uh, look very nice. He gives you where to buy the tubing, uh, where to buy the LEDs. Uh, the thing is you have to wire those LEDs. Uh, and it also takes some uh, magnetic wire, uh, 38 gauge, and that's very fine. So if you're not a good solder, maybe that's not the way to go. Uh, the ones that I'm looking at uh, also are Showcase. Um, the uh, Showcase miniatures, they make some nice end scale. And on their website, uh, go to the bottom and you'll see uh, where a fella has got... Uh, some videos on how he put those together, very detailed, what comes in the kit. Uh, so I'm looking at that. Uh, showcase uh, LEDs are a little bit expensive, but they're all pre-wired. Uh, I looked at DigiKey for some of the other ones. I'm going to try to build some of my own, and uh, we'll see how those work. So we'll give that a try. So until the, uh, until the next video, um, I thank you very much for, uh, for watching and hopefully you've given me a few hints. Uh, please leave in the comments if you've worked with uh, signal lights, um, how have you done yours, uh, the good, the bad, the ugly, and uh, I'd, I'd appreciate any comments uh, on that or any helpful hints. Uh, I know the, uh, the other viewers like that too. So thank you for watching once again. Uh, you have a great day and hopefully we'll see you back here real soon.